What's up YouTube, this is Galacticod, and even though I don't normally talk about the news within Yu-Gi-Oh! about all the new upcoming products and all that kind of stuff, there is some huge changes to how packs are being produced here in the TCG, and it's just something that I could not keep quiet, so what I want to do in this video is go ahead and talk to you guys about that, and then give my thoughts on it, because it looks like we are now going to be getting a guaranteed holographic card in each and every single booster pack of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's something that is really exciting, it's something that I've been talking about on my channel for years now that I think Konami should have done a long time ago. We've seen this in other TCGs like Pokemon and whatnot where you always guarantee at least one holographic card and I'm very excited about this and I'm looking forward to the first set that this is going to be available in. So up on Konami's official site, which I'm going to have a link to down in the description, it talks about the changes that are going to happen in 2016, starting with the booster set Breakers of Shadow, which is released to us on January 15th, 2016. Basically, you're still going to have your seven commons in every pack along with your one rare. Now in the past, that ninth card could have either been a common or a holographic card. But now they're doing away with that and now you're definitely guaranteed a holographic card in every pack. That ninth card will no longer be a common. So bare minimum, it's going to be a super rare. They also announced that they're upping the amount of ultra rares, so instead of it being 1 in 12, you now have a 1 in 6 chance of pulling an ultra rare. For secrets, instead of it being 1 in 23, it's now going to be 1 in 12, so what the ultra rare used to be. Now one of the ways they're saying they're able to actually do this is by cutting out the ultimate rare version of cards as well as the ghost rares. So unfortunately, if you're like me and you love ultimate rares, cards from the booster sets are no longer going to come in that rarity. The site goes on to say if you're looking for ultimate rare cards, the only place that you're going to be able to get them is in Astral Packs. They also mentioned that right now they have no plans on using Ghost Rares anywhere. Now that of course could change, but as of now you're not going to get them in the Core Boosters or any other kind of set. In fact, the last set that you will be able to get any kind of Ultimates or Ghost Rares from is going to be the Dimension of Chaos set, which comes out on November 6, 2015. So for myself personally, this is very exciting news. It's something that I've been hoping Konami would do for many years. Even though I'm very sad about losing Ultimate Rares, which is probably my favorite of all the rarities, the fact that we are going to get a holographic card out of every pack is something to get very hyped about. I mean, unless of course you're a vendor. Now it's unclear exactly what this is going to do in the secondary market. I'm sure there's many Yu-Gi-Oh vendors out there that are probably losing their mind over what's going to happen. It really comes down to two options. Either obtaining supers, ultras, and secrets are going to be a whole lot easier because there's going to be so many of them in print, or they're going to up the amount of cards that are supers, ultras, and secrets. Meaning instead of having eight secrets in a set, maybe we're going to have 20. So even though you will pull a secret more often, it still might not be that one chase card. Overall, I still think this is a great move by Konami and one that I'm definitely looking forward to. Alright YouTube, and there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the changes that Konami is making to the upcoming booster sets here in the TCG. Remember to let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments section below. And I guess that's going to do it for now. This is Galactic God, out.